Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? This is Mark, and today I'm going to teach you a really quick and easy way to connect text in Illustrator. Somebody asked me today, how do you connect the letters like you did in your Fish and Stories Told Here design? So I'm going to show you how to do that in Illustrator, and I assume it's very similar in other programs as well. So here you go. I typed out the word stories in a font called Astounder Squared. First thing I'm gonna do is right click and create outlines. That's gonna change it from a font to shapes. And then I'm gonna right click again and ungroup. And now I can move the letters. And in this case, I wanna make sure that they touch each other enough that they won't fall apart. Now, let me stop here in the middle and teach you one of the quick uh, tricks that I do to make this easier on myself. And that's using outline mode. On a Mac, it's Command Y like this. You can also go up to view and outline right here. And that'll take away all of the fill and the stroke. Uh, so those things will not get in your way to see how these things are really connecting. All right. So in this case, I just simply move things together until they touch or overlap. And in fact, I'm going to do something different with the R there. I'll show you that in just a minute. And you can just move each one of the letters until they touch as much as you want them to. And I'll do something different with the E there as well. And then the S, and we'll move that right there. So let me connect these in a slightly different way. When you go up here to uh, the direct selection tool, which is Command A, now if you zoom in, you'll be able to grab the nodes here, like see this one right here on the end of the T? I'm gonna move that by clicking it once and then clicking and dragging it so that it's longer than it used to be, and now it's overlapping into the S because sometimes I don't like the way that it smashes everything else together. I could do the same thing here, clicking once and then clicking and dragging this shape here, clicking once, clicking and dragging up here like that. And so that way it doesn't necessarily smash it together right here. It just does it here at the top of the T. Same thing with the R. And I can click this one and then shift click this top one and drag and it'll make that whole piece longer. And sometimes I like that look. Uh, here it's okay, uh, but sometimes I like that look, sometimes I don't, but that's another option. Um, here on the end of the R, we could do the same thing and just artificially uh, do this by clicking this one and shift clicking the other one. And we can make it just a little bit longer so it overlaps a little bit more. Same thing with the E. Now you don't have to do this. You could just push them together. Either way works. I'm gonna do about like that. And then I'm going to go with the regular uh, arrow tool there, which is your uh, Command V, your selection tool, and move it again together. And then the last one is the S, and I think I'm fine with it being overlapped like that. All right, so now that you've got it all lined up the way you want, the last step is to select it all, and then go to Pathfinder and Unite, which I got Pathfinder right here. Real quick, if you don't know where Pathfinder is, there's two ways to find it. You can go to Window and go all the way down to Pathfinder here, or you can go to Help, and type in Pathfinder. And when you hover over these, it'll show you an arrow to show you where it is in your menus. So either way. So once again, select all of these and go to Pathfinder Unite. And you see that it united all those places that it was overlapping. And if I go to Command Y to the regular view, you see that all these are touching. And that's all it takes to make connected text like that.